Shalom, Shalom. Firstly, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I'm going to begin with saying, Kohaloyim la, ala hayina wa, wa hawad la, yahawa, bahashem, yahawa shai, bahashem. Racha Kodash. Yahawa is the name of the Most High. The world ignorantly calls him God, but his name is Yahawa. And Yahawa means he exists, he is. Bahashem means in the name. Yahawa Shai means he deliverer and he is the only begotten son of the most high he only died for the 12 tribes of israel beginning with the elect of the nation of israel the israelites are you so-called negroes so-called uh, latinos and native americans make up the 12 tribes of Israel, including uh, Israelite foreigners, those that might look like the other nations, but they're Israelites because they go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And though, you know, that can receive it, will receive this gospel because there's only a remnant that has... Uh, their eyes have been opened to understand this um, this word. But anyways, the title of this lesson is going to be, Is Everyone in This Ministry Going to Die? Is everyone in this ministry going to die? Question mark. And the, the answer to that question is no. Not everyone in the ministry is going everyone in the ministry is going to die so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read what our lord and savior yahweh shai uh said all right there's a couple of precepts we're going to start with the book of matthew chapter 16 starting at verse 28 verily i say unto you there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Now, what does that mean? Yahawashai is speaking to specific individuals. And remember, this was 2,000 years ago he was speaking to these men. So those that can receive it, these men are back here today in reincarnation. Yahawashai was speaking to them personally 2,000 years ago. But we know that Yahweh Shai is, uh, didn't uh, return 2,000 years ago in the sense of um, on that huge chariot coming to conquer. He, he, he's coming to return in this time. This is the time that Yahweh Shai is coming to return. Right, this is the generation. So those men that Yahweh Shai uh, 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 were speaking to, saying they ain't going to taste the death. They're back here today. Those that can receive it. Mark 9 verse 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, That there be some of them that stand here, Which shall not taste of death, Till they have seen the Son, Till they have seen the kingdom of the Most High come with power. See the kingdom of the Most High come with power. And we know that the kingdom of heaven is within us. But remember what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. All right, let's get Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For where, for wheresoever the carcass is, 
there will the eagles be gathered together. And I've seen that in the flesh, man. I've seen, you know, meat in a river. You know, you got some people cleaning meat in a river. And I've seen many hawks flying in the Shemayim, ready to catch that, that meat. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Alright, this is the point, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And that's what's going to happen soon. And this event is going to take place. Now we know in this ministry, we have a lot of people that are unenlightened with um, this gospel. Because the Lord has preserved a remnant in these latter days. So you're going to have a remnant of those in the ministry they are going to hearken. And amongst the nation of Israel, there's a remnant that has been uh, chosen. So, Yahweh Shai is going to return in what the world, I've said this hundreds of times, what the world ignorantly calls UAPs. And when he returns in that enormous chariot, he's coming to conquer the world. But the point is, is that there's men that are going to be out there that are not going to taste of death. Like, a, like we just read in uh, Matthew and Mark. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So Yahweh is coming to gather his elect so when that when when that trumpet makes noise the whole world is going to hear it and Yahweh is going to command the holy angels you see and these holy angels are going to go to different regions of the world some of them are going to go to america some of them are going to go to europe some of them are going to go to africa some of them are going to go to australia i different parts of the earth Yahweh our king, is going to command his angels to gather the elect. Now, going back to the point of this lesson, is everyone going to die? No. Because Yahweh promised something because he knows that ultimately Esau, Edom, and these nations... Their plan is to exterminate the 12 tribes of Israel. And the Most High knows that uh, they want to exterminate his people. And ultimately, this is all the Most High's plan. But there's going to be certain men when Esau tries to lay hands on these men, when the government tries to come after these men, there's going to be specific men on earth that when Esau tries to come after these individuals, is going to be their biggest mistake. It's going to be the biggest mistake that they've ever made. Isaiah chapter 59, starting at verse 19. So shall they, what's that they referring to? Who's going to fear the name, right? The Edomites, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites. The uh, Elam and all these different nations, so shall they fear the name of the Lord. What's the name of the Lord? What's the true name of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh. But we have to say, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. So, certain men on earth right now, 
they're going to have supernatural powers to where when the enemy, Esau, Edom, these robots, when they come off to these specific individuals, the Lord is going to lift up a standard against the enemy. And that standard is going to be a performance of spiritual power. And that spiritual power is going to be used for you to defend yourself, to protect yourself from these devils that want to kill uh, 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 you. Because don't think it's a joke. There's people out there that actually want to kill the messengers of the Most High. They hate the gospel which we hold. So that standard, when it gets lifted up, Lord willing, you know, we get that standard. They're going to fear the name of the Lord. And that standard, it goes into teleportation. It goes into to put into flight. That's what's going to happen. And that power is a real thing. Because we, we saw what happened with the uh, brothers in the Maccabees. You know, there were uh, a couple of angels that wiped out thousands of people that came up against the Maccabees brothers. That was that standard lifted off for them. But in these latter days, that standard is soon coming because we know the Most High, He's shown His power in, in multiple empires. The Egyptian Empire, the Lord used Moses to perform you know, spiritual power. Even during the time of um, the, the Babylonians, I, the Lord used Daniel, you Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, they, they had this uh, uh, spiritual power. You know, Daniel put him to a lion's den. He survived. I, he was even able to uh, find out two liars that were accusing Susanna. I, you have Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They entered into a fiery furnace and they didn't get burned. I, that was during the Babylonian Empire. Then during... Um, you know, the Assyrian Empire, the former spiritual power was when the Lord used the northern kingdom to navigate the things which were in the Shemaim to find that land called uh, South America. And then during uh, the Grecian Empire, the Lord used the Maccabees. The Maccabees brothers were smashing people out here. They had the spiritual power. So the Lord has always... Use spiritual power in different empires. And during the Roman Empire, we know the Lord Yahweh Shai was on the scene during uh, the Roman Empire. And we know that he was performing a high level spiritual power. And that was that Roman Empire. Okay, that, that steel. But in this day and age, we're living in the iron and clay uh well, that image that Daniel uh, saw, the iron and clay, this is that time. This is that empire, man. And in this time, I just gave you accounts in different empires of the Lord using spiritual power. So spiritual power is soon going to happen in this iron and clay society. This iron and clay because this is the last, this is the feat of that statue. This is the end of this kingdom. So soon, that standard will be lifted up in our lifetime. Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You see, that power is going to come where you're going to be able to defend yourself. And you know, that, that, that power is going to come where the, these nations, they're going to be put down. No, through the Rechawa, Allah, Shalei Hawa, Hashem, Hamashak, Yahushai, the Lord is going to bring that power. And these nations are gonna know, man. So, so let's keep on having faith in Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, because 
yes, we know there's going to be some brothers that are going to be brought before kings and governors for that testimony. You have certain brothers put into prison, but wherever you're put through, hey, the Lord will make you overcome if you're sincere. But anyways, um, yeah, enjoy these light days. Enjoy because the Lord is about to display his power. He did it in the Egyptian Empire, he did it in the Babylonian, he did it in the Persian, he did it in the Grecian, he did it in the Roman. Alright, so this is that time now. And this is that reincarnated Roman Empire, that iron and clay. And in this iron and clay system, this iron and clay time that we're living in, the Lord is about to display spiritual power. You gotta believe it, man. Yahweh Hashem Shai is about to show his great work, great works. He's about to do wonderful things, strange things, miraculous things. So let's believe, man. Anyways, call in Yahweh Hashem Shai Shalom.